Okay, Mike's Triumph Daytona 765 Moto 2 edition is now completed. This has been here since last Friday. It's Friday today. We started off getting contact from Mike, who's an employee of Triumph, regarding getting it detailed and PPF'd. This first of all received, it's had multiple stages of machine polishing to both the tank and all the carbon fibre parts. They were relatively poor from the factory. Lots of buffer trails and some scratches and holograms, etc. Subsequently, obviously the paintwork's been corrected, the carbon fiber's been corrected. And then we had Joe from the Window Film Center in Ipswich come and do a bespoke PPF job. So every single part of carbon fiber on this. A lot of it's been off the bike. We would strip a lot of the bike now to get them accessible for him. Every single piece has been PPF'd. There's no templates for this, so everything has been done by hand. Done a brilliant job as ever, Joe. Uh, it's low, Lumar Platinum PPF. It's subsequently been ceramic coated. Every single part of this bike has been ceramic coated. So all the frame, all the carbon again, all the PPF that Joe's done has been coated. Every nut, every bolt, every single part, the O-Lin shocks, the wheels, chain guards, every single piece has been coated. It's had um, wiped down with the ceramic maintenance product afterwards. Again, all this has been coated, all the Top of the handlebars, top of the shocks, locks, plastic parts on the top of the grips, all the carbon. Every single piece of this has been coated. Let's go around the other side. Lights, there you go, Moto 2. Same principle this side, every single bit's been done. Lots and lots of carbon parts, as you can see. Again, you're going close. Everything. Exhaust, obviously. Anyway, enough of all the intricate bits. Mike's gonna pick it up later. He actually rode it all the way down from Coventry. So he's coming down later to ride it all the way back to Coventry again. Thanks a lot, Mike. Thanks, Joe.